Good afternoon, folks. Uh, today, changing things up a little bit. Uh, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> um, legacy, you know, it's, it's not a good place. Um, there isn't much incentive to, like, try to really fix things. So we're just going to try to have some fun. You know, just pure nostalgia uh, and things that are fun to do rather than trying to, like, min-max the deck. And so we've got Maximum Fun Goblins, in which we've got three Rashad ports, we've got three Runeveld Horde Masters, and we have two Goblin War Chief and a friggin' Goblin Sharpshooter. Um, that's basically it. Sideboard's the same. Um, I cut. I cut. A, I went up to sixty-one cards. I cut uh, a bombardiers. I cut a trawler. I cut a crater maker, sting scourger, and a battle cry to make room for all this stuff. Yes, we have way too many three drops. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it. Um, I am wondering if I want a sting scourger in here. Kinda do. Um, but I don't see a way to make room for it. Like in the sideboard, the only thing I could like realistically cut would be like the dead gone. Maybe dead. Maybe it's better than dead gone. I'll do that. I've not been like hugely impressed with Dead Gun. So it's gonna be hopefully a quicker stream. I've been I gotta run uh I have like a hard stop at uh like three fifty. So I gotta get ready to go. So will this go terribly? Probably. We've, we've made a worse deck. But, you know, maybe it turns out Sharpshooter's actually really good. I have missed Warchief here and there. So, like, these cards aren't terrible. Um, I don't think they're optimal, but, you know. Like, I do... Is this deck probably better if you cut a port for a second bar trawler? Probably, yeah. But... That's not what we're doing. <laughs> I've also got a sick cube draft going on. I'm 2040. <laughs> the one I streamed yesterday was a train wreck I went one and two it's a very bad deck um this is like a sick red white deck all right all right we're in oh yeah Keep. This is going to be a, a lackey or vile choice for sure. Interesting one. Arid Mesa. Painter? Looks like Painter. Okay. Um... It has to be Vial, because... Lackey with removal spell is just not going to work against Painter that started on a creature. Hey, Jared. <laughs> I 
Fable. Yeah. So glad we let on the the lackey or the file rather. Bogart's kind of nice against Welder. Um, so the real question is, do we need to expert this Welder? Or can we try to sneak this Lackey in? Meaning we port. pretty dangerous to let my opponent have this, this stuff, so I think I'm not allowed to to do that. Um, and I should kill the welder now before the rummage can put a, uh, a thing into play. If they went rummage, been a big thing, and then uh, play like a great furnace, could be pretty bad for me. So, our best draw is like a skirt prospector. Okay, Mox Opal's gone. All right, we've got the port for Urza Saga. Just pass. <laughs> Rummage one card and then somehow your hand is bad. <laughs> That's how this works, right? Best draw is like a Mogwar Marshal. Get this Muxus into play immediately out of nowhere. Second Melder. Okay. Can live with that. Horde Master is potentially a good draw. What's this? Painter, Swift Foot Boots, or Lava Spur Boots, rather. Okay. All right, Hasty Welder. Doesn't really have any targets and it has to trade with the lackey, so not so bad. Another port. Uh, yep. <coughs> Mobile spell probably would have won the game there, but alas. People got no respect. <laughs> Absolutely no respect. Double broadside and a sharpshooter. Ooh, twin shot. OK. 
Okay. Um, do we just hold up twin shot? I think so. Just currently no target for welder. Alternatively, I'm a little worried about dying to Painter Grindstone. Um, so, theoretically, porting prevents that. According to Tomb, then they're one mana short. <laughs> oh, this is on. Uh, no, they can't get. They can't get grindstone. Um, yeah, let's just hold up the. Uh, The twin shot. Unless they have natural grindstone. One, two, three, four. So the ancient tomb. Okay, so if, if they draw. If they have painter. I don't think they have painter or grindstone. If they target the reflection with the boots, I think I just killed that. Wow. Okay. Actual ensnaring bridge. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Should be able to kill everything though. Just about anyway. Hmm. 
Uh, this gets Crater Maker. Guy Sharpshooter just won the game. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Come <with> the Sharpshooter! <laughs> All right, flute solid. We do miss out on dead gun here. I think I'm gonna draw with only two kinesis. Some macabs are nice. I kind of want to leave in one muxus. Don't think I want battle cry that much. Second sling gang. I'll just do one macab. Not a lot. And then... Okay. Not my favorite, but you know. Okay. All right, Prospector. Hmm. Am I playing you or holding you as a red card? I think I'm playing it. I'm probably not going to double Kinesis, so I think I'm just going to Kinesis pitch Kinesis this game, most likely. And Skirk into Horde Master is like some source of pressure plus cards. Ooh, they don't have stuff. Okay, well, reporting. Mm, okay. Next turn be vile plus port. It's probably getting bolted, I would imagine. No, okay. I think Pona still has a bolt, but just doesn't want to use it. Oh, there's the sharpshooter. Like, opponent assuredly kept a very reactive hand based on how this is playing. So we're just going to sit here. Looks like so are they. Prospector's gotten in twice. What a, what a dude. All right. I think I don't mind playing.
Teleport Master here. If I get Furied, it's fine. If I get Bolted, I maybe draw a card. Get Prospector Beats. Four damage. Count at four off the Prospector. Bad. I'm not drawing Scalding Tarn. Alright. Soul Guide. Sure. Doesn't do anything. I guess if they have a Mox Opal stuck, it, it turns on Mox Opal. Expert's a very solid draw. Five damage off this Skirk Prospector. Hmm. Let's kill it. More damage, which is actually starting to add up. Don't want to pin my hopes and dreams on the sharpshooter actually getting to live. We are getting to the point of hard cast pyrokinesis. All right, so now I'll put in the Sharpshooter, and then if they go like Petal Pyroblast, I get to Pyrokinesis and keep my Sharpshooter, which is pretty sick. Untapping. Any untappers? Let's leave Violet 3, I think. Ooh. This is what you call a combo. Uh, Alright, well that's disastrous for the opponent. They have chosen the wrong mode. This cannot be countered. So ping this, untap, sack it, untap. Um, kind of uh, would have to sack two things, which is not ideal. Um, I am very exposed to a fury here. Do the pyrokinesis is back up. Eight damage from Prospector, let's go. <laughs> Spell? Oh, it's so good. 
<laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so good. We are going off. Uh, I love Magic the Gathering. One, two, three, four, five. So, we could theoretically just try to kill him. But, now Fury is like, kill this, 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 this. They take a bunch of damage. I gain a bunch of card advantage. We still have Pyrokinesis. Callum, we just oh matron's the top card we could have actually won that turn that's that's hilarious we just absolutely annihilated somebody with goblin sharpshooter <laughs> oh boy gets a pass yeah <laughs> yeah her heart is so warm yeah this is what they've taken from us. Man, Horde Master, draw Horde Master, activate, first trigger finds a Mogwar Marshal. Or no, the first trigger uh, was not, I forget, but whatever. Mogwar Marshal into Lackey with the mana floating was just like, there's only three Bombas. Only three Bombas. The card is fun because it's fun to win. Um, also, have you considered that Bombardier triggers Horde Master and Goblin Sharpshooter? Seems pretty fun to me. You just beat this person, show them Power of the Mountains. <laughs> Double bobble. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I just want to wasteland him. Like, I get expert into days, but it seems kind of bad when I can definitely kill this Delver with Vile in this, Vile in this. So let's just, uh... Stymie there. Progression. Wastelanding Delver is maximum fun. I, I agree. Uh, sharp point just for funners makes some meta sense. Um, it is specifically good against breakfast. Um, so it's good in that matchup. And then I was thinking it's actually very good against Aldrazi as well because of all the Scion tokens that they make. So it's like. a free way to get rid of all those things. Flipped a bolt, that's cheating. We can still kill it through a bolt though. Just takes, we'll just take two hits. Cameo, okay. The card's like a little annoying to attack through. I will admit. Never mind. You like this mountain? This is the Pyrenees Mountain, I think.
love to see it. I think I should kill the Tamio. Right. It's a little awkward if they draw the land like a red source and then uh you kill the Delver here. I guess I don't need to do this in my upkeep. Just want to stay alive. That's fair. Um, I can actually leave the violin too, which is why I shouldn't have done it in my upkeep. No attack, no clue for you. Oh, that's a banger. All right. Sometimes you waste land Delver twice, stick a vial, and they are dead. B E D dead. Okay. Um, I've been liking Vexing Bobble against Delver. Stink Scourger's okay. Might do that too. Delver is sort of the matchup where you cut the fun cards, though. That's okay. We we had fun last round. We can we can have a round of less fun. Um We want pyrokinesis less. I don't know if my opponent's Grixis or Blue Red. You're out of here. <laughs> What's my last cut here? You see, well, okay, I'm assuming there's no use, there's probably frogs, right? Cut Crater Maker, it only kills Delver. This is, this is a hand. <laughs> I found wheel. Ponder. Kind of funny that I wish I could cast this lackey into days. Hmm.
think I play the bobble here. Force plus days. Right, force pick pitch Merc Tide, but uh, a little awkward when I have two revs that I can't cast. At least they can't go like Bolt plus Wasteland. If they drop a frog here, game will kind of hinge on whether or not I draw a red source. Why bubble first? Because. It's the spell I'm most okay with them dazing. I don't want to get the vial dazed. Um, so, okay, Murtide, that's fine. Got two rebs. You're so not a red source. All right, so Skirk Prospector, any red source. No attacks, no attackers. Okay, there's attackers. I guess that's a red source on delay. Wow, you don't get to do that very often. All right, so I died a double bolt here. Okay, wasteland's pretty good. Um, Should have done that in the other order, in case they have force plus a uh, blue card, but I don't think they do.
demolished. Slacky has eaten two Dragon's Rage channelers. Turn six Lackey connect, yeah. It's all ogre. Uh, second Merc Tide is tiny, so it doesn't matter. Let's go! <laughs> Maybe this deck is just cracked. Maybe this is just the way... We were just wrong the whole time. Mountain power. Didn't play a mountain. <laughs> Notably, almost died because of lacking, lacking mountains. Yeah, I should have revved the Murktide first, because if they did have force, then I would rather they keep the Tamiyo. As opposed to literally being done on board. <laughs> Basic not confirmed unnecessary. Hmm. This deck is sweet. Hordemaster's been so sick. Lackey, <laughs> Lackey was, was so insane. <laughs> just 1-1 one, one Dragon Rage Trailer, just block, block the 2-2 two, two Lackey. Notably, though, we have not been Bowmastered. <laughs> God, Bowmaster is such a fucking kick in the dick for deck building. It's just so... Anti fun. Uh, reluctant keep. Like, Skirk into Port or Crater Maker is something. And we can follow up with the Bombardier's Expert if we draw a Blackland, Muxus. You know, it's always nice when you have when you lead on Skirk and then you have a Muxus in your hand. It like gives the Skirk something to move towards. If we draw a Mog War Marshal, like we draw a Mog into land, and then you just cast Muxus on turn three. If it's like a Stompy matchup, we could just uh, ritual out our Bombardiers on turn two. Hands a little soft to Wasteland, but who plays that card? <laughs> Street Wraith, okay. Some Doomsday. I feel like it's been a while since I've seen Doomsday. <laughs> Ooh, vile. Hmm. I think I play the vile this turn. If I play Crater Maker. And then they doomsday. They're eight. And then if I draw a land, I can go Bombardier's attack for five, sack for. F okay, so that would be lethal. Well, 
But I would have to draw land. Playing Vile's a little better if the game goes on a little bit more. And if they have more, like, if they have, like, dazes and stuff. A little better versus force in the long run as well. I'm gonna play the crater maker. I feel like Vile's a little too slow to matter. Mill Stasis Oracle, that's a good one to mill. So if I draw like a cavern, that's the best thing. Like a like Cabal Ritual Doomsday. Hopefully it's not Dark Ritual Cantrip. They have used a Cycler and a Cantrip already. Okay. Alright, so we're looking for Cavern of Souls. Unless we're dead right now, which is entirely possible. picking up consider so yeah I'm dead if they have a cycler or cantrip I don't think the port I mean the port maybe buys me a turn but I don't think I'd be set up to win then It is nice, though, that we can beat a daze if we draw land. Skirt can pay for the days, and we still have exact lethal. If I draw waste, I think I just jam the bombardier, go for lethal. Psychic frogs and stifles. Horrifying. I think I'm dead. Yeah, they have a cycler. Okay. Fuck. What the fuck? <sighs> Wasteland and Doomsday is like maybe the most confusing thing in the world to me. Is force. Wow, there's only one force. Hello? Two? Three? Four. Okay. They had a force wheel. Uh, do I want vacuum bobble? Stops the pedals and the LEDs. Counter magic. Seems good. 
Disruptor Flute on Doomsday seems good, or Thassa's Oracle. Stifles, huh? Um... Just gonna cut two vials, which is a very strange number, but I want some number, but my creatures are really important, so there's only so much I can cut. Do have to be mindful that Bobble stops my mind break trap. But Bobble into Flute on Doomsday seems really strong. Could also wait until Doomsday gets cast and then Flute on Oracle. I need five mana in there. Yeah, five mana. Yeah, yeah, you you can, like, crack bobble in my break for sure. Mm, nope. All right, I like this. Bottom the War Marshal, I think. Keep the twin shot as sneaky damage. So we'll go Lackey into Matron Horde Master. Matron probably gets Sling Gang. Lackey might get stifled here. I'm not playing my land in case they're, they're like afraid of Wasteland and they're like, ooh, do I need to save my, my stifle for Wasteland? Getting stifled. Yep. Maybe play Vile now. This game could definitely go on a little longer. This is better if they play a frog. Like at potent like at max it costs me two damage. Here's where I die because I don't have two damage. Thought sees me. 
No? Okay. It would be kind of funny if I died because of two damage. <laughs> Fun magic. We just we just need to draw a reb or potentially vexing bobble, mind break trap. Um We have a lot of cards that win the game. Sling gang would be let's see, they're going to nine. Sling Gang would be four, five, six, seven. <laughs> it would be too short. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe playing Vile was an error. <laughs> yeah, because if we drew a land, we could do that. Barrow Goyf. This is I, I I always find this funny about Doomsday is like they build they board in like a million mid range cards and then Dark Ritual Doomsday like every time. <laughs> it's just like ninety percent of the cards in a Doomsday deck are irrelevant. Man. <laughs> Punished. All right, let's count street rates. Uh, one. Okay. There is probably a street wraith in the pile. You think go for Moxus? I mean, I do have Warchief Sharpshooter in my deck. File on one could even find a skirk. Um, yeah, because Sling Gang will just be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's, that that's, doesn't even stop a. Doesn't even stop. Shoe Wraith. All right, Moxus, give me something good. <laughs> oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. That's a full six out of six, Moxus. That is a full six out of six, Muxus. I'm just going to screenshot that one. <laughs> Holy shit. I will decline my matron trigger. All right, so opponents got Fatal Pushes, Unearth. They didn't put Cavern in the pile, so they're not playing around Reb. They left in Forces. There's Go for the Throat. There's Barrow Goyfs, which is funny. Um, so maybe I do want one Munitions Expert for the Goyf. Sting Scourger might actually be better for that purpose. As weird as that is to say, to have Sting Scourger in against, against Doomsday, but 
Uh, Sting Scourger can also bounce Frog, whereas Expert killing Frog is really difficult. <laughs> Second Mux is not bogging down the Mux's trigger, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, with all that removal, Vile is important, but... I don't see how to fit in. How do I fit the stuff in? Do I cut the twin shot? It's probably kind of marginal. I feel like I have a, I do have a lot of sources of out of combat damage with the sharpshooter as well. So. Hmm. I think this is keepable. We've got red source, we got cavern. Cavern's important. We have some pressure with Skirk, Skirk, Horde Master, Sharpshooter can maybe come in. Vex and Bobble maybe slows them down. Hello? Slink gang sick. Uh, we'll leave it on Mountain Skirk. Oh shit, maybe I'm supposed to play Vexing Bobble so they can't kill me just immediately. That could definitely be a punt. Yeah, stops pedals when they don't make a land drop. Seems kind of important. That was dumb. If I lose, it's super my fault. <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm gonna die because I fucking didn't play the vexing bobble. <laughs> no. Got so greedy. I wanted to attack for one. I am representing Blast. This is true. Slink Gang is kind of nice because we can go like Bobble into Skirk, maybe buys a turn. They'll be at 10, they'll be at 9, they'll be at 8, 4. Let's just draw a rib. Some amount of pedals because basic swamp. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a pretty reasonable shot that the if they have to pass the turn pile, they like basically have to have pedals in their pile or LED. But I'm really thinking about it, so I feel like I'm not dead. I think my best draw has got to be Reb. Reb plays the cleanest with this hand.
Pedal, 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 pedal. LED. Okay, so I'm not dead. There's no cavern, so we draw a reb. Force, force. Fetch land pile. You see. You see. Yeah. I know. One, two, three. So there's an island and a uh, UC in there. Is there any point? And playing the bobble. Force, force. Force, force. Okay, so they definitely have forces. So yeah, I don't think bobble does anything. So I should just cavern out Horde Master. Because then I can go attack for two, they're at eight. Attack for three, they're at five. Sack some stuff. Can't quite kill him. But there are street rates. Okay. I think Horde Master makes the most sense. Other other lines are play the second Skirk, play the Bobble, attack for one, they're at nine. Horde Master attack for four, they're at five, so that's not as good. We could also draw a Bombardiers. Get lethal that way. Put, maybe put Fatal Pushes in the pile. Yeah, there's there's a, oh, there's a Fatal Push. Do they have multiple Fatal Pushes? They have two Fatal, all right, so they have a Fatal Push. It's kind of One, two, three, four, and an LED. There's no way they can Oracle me next turn.
unearth consider oh yeah that would be that would be good I bet that's what they have. But given that there's forces, I don't think I'm allowed. Yeah, I needed a port. Yeah, port would win this game. Yeah, I think I lose. Mm-hmm. Came in red. Can't mind break trap. What beats this? I guess I guess it is just a port. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Um maybe they maybe put a wasteland in the pile because of port. But I think they just had double force the whole time. It's hard to get around the double force. I needed a lackey start. Lackey would have won this game. And if they didn't wasteland me, I would have would have been able to just play the sling gang. It was a close match. We had a sick uh six screenshot at least. Yeah, I think I played. I think I played it right, though. Playing Vexing Bobble not on turn one ended up working out. Consider Unearth past two turns. Not normally something they have the luxury of doing. But I guess if you have Wasteland for Cavern and Force, that opens up a lot of stuff I did see the unearth I wonder if there's like any world where you're supposed to board in a uh, fairy macabre you kind of have to be psychic though <laughs> just to to know that they're gonna go for the unearth pile which is very uncommon. All right. Okay, lackey into removal, into removal, okay. Yeah, Bobble, I mean, if we had a second piece of interaction, the bobble does something. All right, what horrible thing is about to happen to me? Grief, reanimate grief. Days, your expert. <laughs> Uh, 
ancient tomb. Okay. Oh, God. I would prefer, <laughs> I think I would prefer Green for Anime Great. <laughs> oh, Expert's not good. All right, opponent surely will not have a Grim Monolith. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. So, if we just put in expert, throw expert at their face, they're at 10, we port them. Next turn, we play Bombardier's attack is lethal. Would Ancient Tomb have been lethal? Two, double, uh, five. Might have been a little bit short. It's plus, yeah, plus seven damage. Surprised they didn't catch up with the bobble. Uh. Oh, they're dead. Cool. <laughs> Expert. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> I'm the guy. I'm the guy who directs the firing. Nope. Okay. Little waste port action. Um... Bobble is good for my end against this deck. Vials come out. Ringleader comes out. Don't know if they're the Echo version. If they're Mystic Forge, Grafter's Cage has some play. Otherwise, it's very bad. <laughs> I don't think this one works out. Like, Bobble with Wasteland's like, okay disruption, but obviously this kind of doesn't go anywhere. Double Wasteland, nothing. I think I keep double wasteland nothing. Let's hope we top deck lackey. Mm -hmm. Grimonolith is one of those cards that I am just not. Ooh, that's scary. That is quite scary. Looks like Pyrokinesis is coming in. Triple Wasteland, you say? Doesn't really help with this. Guess this stops a four mana thing. No. All right. 
All right. Uh, all right. So we want pyrokinesis, and we want the cage. Uh, cut blocker. And uh, more more wastelands, but nothing. Okay. Okay, uh, let's bottom. Matron? Maybe it's Sling Gang? Nah. Uh, I think it's Matron. Sling, I want to keep in case they, uh, and like we lackey Muxus, find a Skirk, then. I'm gonna cast the sling. Opponent Mulgans to five. Mulgans to four. Alright. Just need to dodge turn one flesh raker. And dismember. <laughs> Mulgans to three. Alright. Hopefully there's no echo of the ends. Two. We did it! We won! <laughs> All right. This has been quite a league. <laughs> We're moving at a good pace, though. Never mattered. <laughs> Man, Legacy's fun when you don't play against Scam every round. <laughs> now nah, we're going to play against it, but you know. Will we get a 4 1? We've already locked in the cash with our fun list. You know what? Honestly, this list is performing a lot better than I thought it would. Um, the synergy has been pretty strong. All right, we're on the draw. Either way, it has been fun. This has been an enjoyable league of Magic the Gathering. We lost to Doomsday, but like it was pretty close and we had outs. All right, we got another one of these hands that are really good on the play and not good on the draw, but I'm not gonna mulligan it. Maybe we'll just draw a vial. Prismatic Vista, okay. Island? Ponder. Okay. We like that. We like that. Shuffle. We like that too. Let's draw Cavern. Okay. Mogro Marshall's fine. At least we have something to do when this lackey dies. <laughs> Stoneblade. Much more likely Stifle Knot, which fuck it sucks. But. Could also just be like control. Can it can it just be control, please? Mm. Prismatic ending. Okay. Okay. Let's just draw lands for the rest of the game. I said draw lands for the rest of the game.
Cyclorian, Volcanic Island. Okay, so it's looking like Jeskai. Are they going to try to thwart Aerolingus? Island, sure. Narset, okay. Brainstorm, okay. Cavern. <gasps> I'm so good at magic. Sharpshooter and Pashlik are not at their best in this matchup, but... Uh, I could throw a token to deal two damage and play around a verdict, but it seems bad into a plow. Probably play Pashlik Mons this coming turn. Unless we have something better to do. But getting Pashlik in play on the turn that they'll probably want to verdict is always nice. Get some free damage. Bulk. Another in our set. That is not particularly effective. <laughs> Force of Will is not particularly effective. Another cavern. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's play Bashlik. Should probably throw a token there. They're gonna verdict and I miss out on two damage. It's it's two damage. It's two damage and it does matter if they don't have the verdict. Really want to draw a port. I think if I draw a port, I like can't lose. Can't lose has been called. <laughs> Yeah, all the basics. Pretty good against casting Supreme Verdict. Thus is the give and take of Mana Denial and Legacy. Mana bases and Legacy basics are like really good against Wasteland. They are bad at casting your spells. <laughs> so they got a Force of Will, which doesn't do anything at all. Very unlikely I cast a counterable spell for the rest of the game. They've lost two Narsets. The fourth doesn't do anything here. A lot of their cards are really bad here. <laughs> okay, there's White White. Verdict. Wow. That is... Okay. Um... So we can activate Pashlik, 
10, throw for six. Don't really want to do that though. It's very likely that they'll have what they need. So I think what I'm doing is throwing a token. And then just holding up Pashlex activation. If they want to dress down into verdict, that's okay. Kind of looks like what's happening. Yeah. Um, Uh, do I flash in this expert? I think I do. It turns Skirk into a draw that puts Muxus into play. Nice. So Bombardiers is lethal, Warchief is lethal, Sling Gang and Mogwar Marshal is lethal. Nice. Sick. All right. All right, sharpshooter. I'm sorry, friend. Um, just this. Crater Maker is like okay for. Um. Containment Priest or Doorkeeper Thrall. We do have Twin Shot already, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to mulligan this. Cavern's really important, obviously, but none of these being utility lands like a port or a wasteland makes us pretty vulnerable to like the hands that actually beat you, which is like apply your thing, play Narset wheel or like a fast fourth. Yeah. I like this better. Um, I'll actually keep the twin shot. This is an insurance policy. Nice.
Okay. Horde Master is nice. Horde Master is really good against Supreme Verdict. Probably should have shuffled there because uh, I wouldn't mind drawing Bombardiers. I don't want to draw land. Sure. Hmm. I don't think I play Matron into Dress Down. If I draw a land, I really want to be able to Pyroblast a Dress Down. It might encourage them to tap out this turn. I think uh, I think I just Horde Master, hold up Blast. On it. I will pyroblast any three mana planeswalker. Fourth for two could be a little scary. Pitch Lorian, sure. Hmm. Hmm. I think I can just play this matron. And I think I'm just getting ringleader. This game's going to continue. Good to go on. If they play a fourth, I can still... Like, I really need to draw a fourth land, truth be told. But not to the degree that I get Bogart. I can always twin shot the Teferi. I think I attacked a fairy for one. And then I expert it, so then they would need a dress down or double plow. And if they double plow, they lose, because then they have no cards. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, attack. Gonna play Pashlik here. Be mana efficient. Probably eats a plow. Mm -hmm. So I'm only really scared of fourth. Fourth for four would be a lot. Okay, kind of wishing. Kind of wishing that I had tutored for a fourth land. All right. Verdict here. Dress down into verdict. Narset. They days undoing, that's fine. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Um, actually, I don't need to clear the Narset. I can just hit it for two. I guess this means a plow keeps it around so they get a card. Dress down kind of accomplishes the same thing, actually. Eh, yeah, I should have sent a little more damage at the Narset. is this sanctuary plow plus a cantrip sure So I can deny them a card. They have enough mana to go Narset plus wheel anyway, like the fresh Narset. But I think they're just going to play it anyway. Okay, so their hand is Plow Plow Narset Unknown. I 
There's three plows, okay. So we're definitely doing this. Really want a fourth land. <clears throat> Play goblins different difficult in the actual meta. Yeah, it's like a lot of really close games that you make one one wrong call and you lose, which kind of sucks. That's a pretty good Lorian. We do really just need to draw our fourth land. <laughs> Prismatic ending the vial. Sure. Oh my god. It's turn 10. Alright, I'm just gonna play this battle cry. Absolutely sucks to play this without activating it. But so their hand still has a plow from the Mystic Sanctuary. Here's fourth. <sighs> Should have tutored for a land, I guess. And finally, um, those are good. Uh, I think I want all my creatures in play for the sling gang. Ideally, we can just go, like, land, lackey, sling gang, kill you. Opponent has found all their cantrips. Third in our set. Mm, not my favorite. Okay, Vile is actually not bad. Uh, 
Um, because I've used three prismatic endings. I still have a plow. Question if I play this lackey or not. I think I. <laughs> I think I do not. And that's the fourth Narset, right? One, two. Oh, there is one more. All right, let's let's make him use this dress down. Okay. Okay, more Lorians. Discards for some apples today, okay. Okay. Uh, let's pull a dress down with this ringleader. Could have bluffed Reb a little better. Play the play the land and then uh, hold up that. Oh, Garrick, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I liked your stream the other day. Okay. That one's pretty good. Didn't expect that. Makes it a lot harder to kill them, huh? Oh, they're not flashing it back. That's interesting. All right, so there's been two dress downs. Don't think I'm allowed to play around the third right now, which kind of sucks. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um. You damn priest. Okay. All right, opponent, do you have another dress down? You do not. 
you're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They also have to fetch uh, for white mana anyway. Why didn't they play the Flage? Oh, they don't, they don't have more white sources. That's why. This can't get up planes. They're not playing three planes. So they actually only have three white sources instead of four. Nice. That was a sweet 4-1. And we ended just on time. We lost a close one to Doomsday, but we also got this <laughs> Muxus against Doomsday. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love playing against Jeskai. It's just like... First of all, it's like a really good matchup, but also you get to feel smart because you're actually thinking about things. It's not just like a face roll. You actually, it doesn't matter what order you sequence your spells. Um, yeah. Sharpshooter was sick against uh, Painter. Uh, the War Chiefs didn't really come up. Portmaster came up a lot and it was really good. I don't know, maybe we should look at building the deck this way more often. Um, I am reasonably impressed, actually. How was Twin Shot? Twin Shot was fine. Um, basically traded for a card with Narsa in that match. It's always nice to have more, like, a uninteractable removal spell. Like, if we swapped it with the Sting Scourger, we could fit a third Pyrokinesis with the Dead Gone back in here. So that's basically the, the cost of running it. 61 cards, just basically for fun. No, no real justification this time. But the ports are sick. Yeah, that was, that was a good league. Let's see who to raid here. I've got to go. Or Mario's still playing. Oh, Jamie's playing. Playing Scamming Scam with Maverick. All right, that's a good title. We're, we got to raid Jamie. If I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's Jamie. Uh, that's his real name. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, please support me on Patreon rather than, you know, subscribe on Twitch or uh, anything like that. Uh, Patreon, you get I get more of the cut and you get extra stuff. So Patreon's just better. Um, writing a kind of sideboarding heuristics thing that's not just like ins and outs. It's more like what are common solver cards, goblins plays, and like why do you play them like what matchups are these supposed to be for what kinds of archetypes are they good against um so that's in the works just released a deep dive on scaminator mat on the scaminator matchup um that should help people it's a tricky matchup you know just it's like a you don't get many decisions but the ones you have are really hard so that's that's why it's tough uh jamie's got a difficult username See y'all next time.